is no longer necessary. We need to, for example, for today, agree on a bonus for next year. Okay. And say, okay. Oh, well, when you of this much, without which there is no bonus. My dear. Yes, in the Oh, okay, okay. Still, still, if my dear, you correct. You are proposing that today and moving forward, we should agree on an amount. That your, your your question is, you are saying we should agree on an amount today of what will be uh, compensated next year if we achieve a certain uh, percentage. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? What we see is, for example, bonus are not to the directors and staff if you measure 100% of the budget we just passed. If you improve it by 125%, we give you a bond bonus. But we don't expect you to every year just to say it's 1.3 million, 20, 1 million. We should give that as a proposal. That is no more bonus. This can be later. We should give it as a proposal for the next year. But you see, uh, see, let us take that as a proposal for the next for the next financial year. Because what I'm trying to tell you is, this being a governance issue, we do have a guideline of how we arrive at it. However, as a member, and this being the apex, we hear you and you are talking of us doing it differently and that's why we are saying we'll take it as a proposal but for the figure we are bringing today, we do have a guideline from our governance charter which made us arrive at this. Okay, so what are you proposing? We are saying, uh, for purposes of incentives, we need to set 
issues of bonus before so that people perform and they are ready up with the people. Okay, okay. Steve, Steve. That's okay, Steve. That's okay, Steve. I hear you. I hear you. And that's what I'm saying that we've taken it up as a proposal moving forward. We've taken it up. We appreciate the input of the members. We've taken it up and moving forward, we shall deliver it and settle at what we feel is the best practice. Okay? Yes. Yes, Zakayo. Yes, Zakayo. If we are delivering a way forward. Yes. I think it should be done today with the next uh, financial year. Of course, I don't think if there's a uh, meeting that is organized again for members to meet, it's based on this. Then, secondly, as we are the chairs, this we need to be attending the education. I don't think even with last time, people were educated now. So if we are looking for at least the members need to know today. I don't think that if the second will be when the meeting is done. Okay, okay. Uh, Zakaya is suggesting and proposing and now we are going to do it because we don't need that the location has done. However, this is a governance issue. And a governance issue is done by the board and the, and the staff and then once we do it, then we can share with the members what we are proposing, we are proposing this for the budget. So the question I want to ask is, for the members who are objecting, is it that you are saying we should not be paid or if yes, how much are you proposing? If you are telling us not 1.3 or not 1 million for the staff, then tell us, then we know, and then we
uh, much more immediately so that that is getting into account. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lucy. That was definitely a great talk of the resolutions. Uh, thank you. That was an amazing like, uh, endeavor to get our facilities. I think we are done with most of our C lectures. For the Visual Committee, and to ask the team to do that, I want to invite the chair so that I can ask the team and take us to the next uh, item. Now, now I am sure that it was wrong law, but we are on the last leg. So to do the model, the model, we are just for the last leg. So, so I want to recognize those groups and those that are here. I can see the level is here, please just stand up and uh, wave to the crowd. You guys representing a very big sample, those of us who may not know, that is the same that I have here, or public and charge. Any other sample that is represented here, please? Any other group that is represented here? Okay, thank you. Now, we have come to that point that most of us have been waiting for and we want to take it actually to understand there was a nomination committee it was headed by none other than Eric Eric, I will request your team again to stand very briefly Eric and the team Eric and this stand up thank you so much for thank this team so much let us clap for them yeah I know you've done your first job, just sit, be seated. Yes, there are usually some challenges. But I want to tell this team that we have acknowledged the, 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 the way to be resilient. So now we are going to the next stage. And the next stage, I'm not the man, the person who is mandated to conduct. The difference, and that is why I've stood here. For members about the Jua, Samani, Tulikua, Tunataka, Tuna propose members here. But now what has happened as a way of improving our governance, the candidates that are going to be proposed today for you for conduct election went through a vetting process. So the names that will be provided for you now, for you to vote, will be names of those ladies and gentlemen who have gone through some vetting. And so without wasting much time, I want to welcome the county officers, the able ladies, to take us through that process. And something else that we need to understand, Wawai Amaya Awakwa Kwa SDM, we used technology. We used technology that time for voting. And today, online, we are a team, we are I'm waiting for Sidoji to connect because I want to bring in Nandunya. It's connected. Yes, before, just I'm doing my part and then I want to know because I'm not be able to speak after that. We actually went uh, online for many reasons. One is uh, accountability, two is because of COVID and usage of technology. So we have a vendor. I want him just to greet us just to acknowledge his presence, who is going to, with the help of the county, uh, county officers, who is going to help us in that process. Abdul, are you on the way? Yes, I am, Chair. Kindly greet this, kindly greet, kindly just greet these delegates as we go to the next stage, which will inform you. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, good afternoon. Delegates and honorable members, it's a pleasure for us to meet again after the SGL and we hope that we will be able to conduct very good elections. Thank you. Asante Sana, the reason why I'm waving Salome to come in is uh, from.
received six applications. I've just learned that the circle has about 732 members. So out of 732 members, only six people applied to become uh, directors of the board. For the supervisory, we had only three members applied. So what happened is that uh, we had a structure which we wanted to adopt, but based on timelines, we had to draw some stages. Like uh, we wanted to vet the papers and then uh, do a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the uh, candidates. But given that time was not on our side, we are looking for today's date, we had to draw a one-on-one -on -one and embark on serious vetting of the papers. On the conditions, rather requirements which we crafted ourselves, I don't know whether I can. I think, is it possible to display what we wanted for the directors? Rather, what I'm saying here is that we went to basics. We didn't want to put the bar so high. We wanted most of our members to be able to have a chance to apply. That is why, as a committee, amongst other conditions, we settled on an academic uh, condition, rather qualification, of grade C. So we said, for you to be able to take, go to the next stage, you must have grade C. That was minimum. Now, during our vetting, and okay, this is the memo that went out. If I may just uh, read through, the eligible member has set out in the bylaws, have been a member of the circle for at least one year. Here we, we also went down because I've just read in the newspaper where some people are saying you need to have been a member for two years for you to qualify for a certain position. But that's good for one year. Meet the basic qualification of class A member as set out by bylaws. Be a holder of minimum all level, minimum all level, grade C or its equivalent, and diploma or above from a learning institution recognized in Kenya. Be a member with good credit history. Here, the circle was so handy. They helped us to peruse over the financial history of all the applicants. Be of high moral standing and integrity. I think we have all heard that this circle wants to go further than the way it has performed. So, moral integrity is quite key. Have demonstrable commitment and participation of circle activities and agendas, and lastly, be knowledgeable to all features, principles, and values of cooperative movement. These were the qualifications. So, having we had drop two and retain those ones who had that qualification. For the supervisory post, all the three had, amongst other qualifications, the minimum of C, which was required. So, uh, as far the nomination uh, policy that we were given, we invited successful candidates. At this stage, uh, I want to ask members one thing that this was the first time we were having this kind of process within this staff. There could have been one or two things that might not have pleased some people, but whatever we need is not passing us all. This service for the members. And whatever you want us to do, we did 
their followers. So we believe this is what happened. And uh, I take it back to Madam. Unless there is any question. Now the day to implement a process of uh, nomination. And just before I go ahead, and uh, since now I'll be working hand in hand with Abdullah, I want to take you back to the last year ATM where we did, uh, we did our elections. I remember we had uh, the second secret ballot, and uh, the outcome was the decision of the members. It was not my decision. I remember that time I had my colleague, Mr. Daniel, from Kajiado East. So even today, the exercise that we are going to take, it will be the decision of the, of the members. Not our decision as officers, as it's just here, to come and witness and also officiate the exercise. So it was quite surprisingly, during the last AGM, that uh, we, received some complaints that there were some readings and even asked the officers maybe we did not take the exercise as it was supposed to be. Today I'm seeing the exercise is being recorded. Even last time I even called the chairman to come and so to allow us to come sit with the management, revisit the video that was taken that time so that when we did to decide to have the credit of conducting successful election with each other. Quite unfortunately, the issue, the issue was coming, it was within the management, not from the members. And that's why I started by saying it is the members' decision. Once the members decide, even you members of the, the management, you are part of Magali members, kindly let's put our interest aside, kindly let's members have the people whom they are willing to be served by, not as the officers. So kindly, even as we go through the process today, I will let the members decide. It will be open enough, just like we did last time. I remember even we had my young guys, we had a lot of team that helped us, helped us in the current process. So uh, thank you, nomination. Having said all that, I wish to thank the nomination committee for the work you have done. Thank you for putting all the efforts and even proving that you had you decided to have that committee and also accepting your call of duty. Um, we have been told that in the management committee we had six applicants. Two applicants did not meet the, health, the threshold of the minimum of C plus. That is C plus, sorry. And uh, so the four remaining. Um, Three are the incumbents who have been in the office. Then we have one member who you qualified to join that team. So I wish to start with the management, but before that, kindly let me invite Abdul to take a look how he wish that we, we, we take the process. Then from there, we introduce the, the people vying for those particular positions. So finally, Abdul, if you can hear me, you're much welcome. Good afternoon once more. Good afternoon. So uh, if you will allow me, I'm going to share a screen of how the process of voting for the supervisory committee uh, nominee will be done. Okay. Uh, most kindly allow me 